Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Today's part 6 of the Home Tour Oculus Quest newly redesigned user interface. Let's go! Welcome back to VR Essentials where we talk about the practical uses of VR. Whew. My name is Lazarus K and today welcome back to part 6 also of this guided home tour of the newly redesigned user interface that was launched recently by Oculus Quest using version 16. So today we're going to be looking at how to browse the web or use the web browser with the newly added multi-tab tool so you can see different windows and stuff and also how to change your notifications, put them on or put them off, which I also think is pretty important. All right, without further ado, by the way, before we go ahead, part one, two, three, four, and five, sank in the link description below. Let's go. All right, let's look at the browser. So this is what the browser looks like. So what you can do here, for example, is you can type YouTube. There might be some suggestions that will come up here. And then boom, you'll be directly entering the browser so you can browse the web basically like anything. So some of the things to be aware of, if we start on the left hand side where it says one tab, you just mouse over with your touch controller. You can actually enter private mode as well. So that's very useful. Uh, the other thing is you can bookmark things. So if we click on bookmark, you can change the title, the URL. Just click on the cross to close your, your keypad press on the cross here there we go and then you just click save uh, you can also resize the browser so that's pretty cool make it narrow medium wide and it will tell you the percentage here so you can minus make the text bigger or make the text smaller as whatever you wish you can also go into request desktop website like so, so it will look like on your desktop and not in a responsive. And then there's also some more settings here. So in the more settings, you can go to settings and you can actually change the permissions of the websites, the search, the logging into Facebook, and also gives you more details about the browser itself. Just click on the back button at the top to go back. Then you have the bookmarks where you can access them. The downloads, you may have downloaded some apps uh, via the browser, they'll be there. Then your history as well, so it will show whatever history. And you can also clear your browsing data, so when you clear it you can choose all these different options here from the browsing history all the way to, if you use your joystick you can scroll down all the way to media licenses and everything in between basically. So I'm just going to click done for now. Okay, so remember that in the settings, in experiments, we are at the experiment features. And if you scroll down, multitasking for Oculus browser, which enables us to create multiple browsers for different tabs. So how this works is very simple. If we go back to the browser, you'll see the plus sign up here. So all you do is you click on the plus sign and it will create a new tab. So now I have two tabs and I can create another one. So it creates three tabs. So I have one here, one here, and one here. So you can switch this off in the experimental features, in the settings, if you want. Of course, it's in beta mode, so it could create some issues with your apps. But do be aware that it will require a restart if you want to cancel it. Before I give you some last tips, I just want to give a quick shout out to all those who went to watch and comment on one of the previous videos, which was all about the beginner's guide to VR fitness 2020. You guys are awesome. Remember to leave a comment below so I can give you a shout out in the next video. So the other tab is the notifications tab, which is the little bell icon. Now there are quite a lot of notifications, so I do recommend switching, you know, quite a lot off. Otherwise it can throw you off. Uh, during your gameplay in various different apps because you'll be notified whenever your friends are online whenever they go into a specific app or whenever they purchase something maybe or all these kind of things or send a review so it can be a little annoying uh, so the notifications will be social when basically you receive a message from someone or someone's trying to create a party with you or something from the system so this will be directly from 
uh, Oculus itself when, for example, you're doing a download and the download has finished. And also here, so here will be the download. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope that you found it useful as always. And remember that there are lots of other parts, all the different one, two, five down in the link description below as well. So go and check those out. Until next time, remember to like and subscribe, share some love so that you and I together, we can grow the community and help as many people as possible in VR. And remember to hit the bell too so that you get notified when I upload part seven. All right, until next time, high five to you. Take it easy. And as always, DJ, take it away.